What is up everyone, thank you so much for stopping by, I hope you guys are having a good day. This is Josh from VHU and we are continuing our series of Fallout New Vegas mod reviews. We are going to stick to what I've been doing uh, since I've been doing mods, which is about a week now, and that is just sticking to to guns uh, until I get better and then I will venture off into doing other things like quests and other add-ons and stuff like that. The first gun we're going to take a look at is one that was added to the Nexus um, within a day or two ago of me recording this video. It is the M1895 revolver um, kind of a strange gun it uses nine millimeter ammo and supports a 10 millimeter attachment I'm not really sure but let's take a look in order to get this gun you will have to uh, fast travel here to gun runners and you're gonna open the gate to the left you will be attacked on site for doing this okay so make sure you're armed because they are very well armed And so you're going to probably, if you haven't already been in here. Okay, so you're going to enter in the front door. So there's the gate we came in. Come in here. And now uh, you could try and do this, avoiding as little confrontation as possible. You walk in the gate into the uh, main door. Look to the right, there's a desk. There's a revolver. So let's take it. Let's head outside. Just avoid any more trouble. Okay, so let's go underneath the light here and we'll take a look at the gun. So the damage is 29, damage per second is 41, so it's a little over around a second. Okay, so there's the gun. I think it's, uh, it's textured really well. It really seems to fit in with the style of the game. It doesn't feel like it's too high quality. Like, you know, some mods, I like that they do high, really high quality guns with high quality modeling and texturing. But it doesn't really seem to fit in with the style of the game because it seems like everything else is low quality or mid quality. And the gun is just insanely high quality. So this really seems to fit in. Uh, again, something strange. It does use 10, or sorry, 9mm rounds which doesn't seem correct should use some sort of revolver round I would think it seems like a magnum revolver um, so what we'll do let's um, let's head on over here and let's fire some rounds okay I really like the reload animation it kind of sucks that the uh, they weren't able to animate it so that the uh, the clip pops out there like it does in real life but I still think it's a really cool animation um, definitely sounds pretty good see I really wish you could you could push that uh, push that out and spin it like you could in real life but no matter what it's a cool gun um, let's see if we can get into a confrontation here. I will probably get killed. The damage isn't exceptionally great. Actually, before we do that, let's take a look at the attachment. So this is the standard gun. Strangely enough, it uses 9mm ammo. Um, on top of that, you can add a 10mm silencer to it. And that's what it looks like. Which apparently the guy said is historically accurate. And that's what it sounds like. I don't know if I buy that or not. Um, but I mean, if you're able to use a silencer, use it. Hell, why not? Silencers give you a huge advantage in this game. I'm not... Probably not going to win this uh, this confrontation if we get into one here. Oh wow. Let's take a look at that. Does it have a Oh it doesn't have any extra critical hit percentage. Um I must just be if you get a headshot. I don't know. Um so I guess it's a lot stronger than I thought. I guess you can't just go by the numbers. It's uh it packs a punch, that's for sure. 
Um, so that's going to do it for this review, guys. Again, if you want to download the mod, it is in the uh, description below underneath the description. You will see the links to all the mods. Um, so let's take a look at the next gun. All right, guys. We are going to take a look at our second gun now. The second gun we're going to take a look at is called the FRF2. It is a sniper rifle, apparently commonly used by the military. I don't know that for sure. Um, apparently the guy on the Nexus has a reputation for making pretty good weapons. So we are going to go ahead and take a look at this gun. In order to get this gun, you are going to have to fast travel. It's going to be at Captain Dean's boat rentals. However, there is no map marker for that place. What I do is you want to teleport to teleport fast travel to Colville Bay. And I will show you where to go. So Covel Bay is where you go. You're going to launch here. You'll see some crates. And you'll see some trailers. You'll see what looks like an old hangar there. Um, as you can see, I've already been here. Uh, be prepared and be armed because you will see lots of Cazadors. Okay, so you come down to the water. You will see this docking bay and this little shack here. This is Captain Dean's boat rentals you go in here again link is in the description below come over around the counter and there it is okay so let's go ahead let's go outside and we'll get this gun equipped I don't there are no attachments available for the gun so it is just the gun FRF2 damage 62, damage per second 67, so it's a relatively slow firing gun, uses .308 caliber rounds, 6 rounds before you have to reload, 6 rounds in the chamber, compared to the Gobby uh, Campaign Scout Rifle, 160, 151 damage per second compared to 67, but overall higher damage, so let's uh, take this baby out and give it a, give it a shot. Alright, so very high quality gun. As you can see, if you remember in the last video where I was telling you about the, we were looking at the M1895, you know, saying that some guns look too high textured. This gun, I think, kind of looks too high textured in a sense, but in a sense, it kind of doesn't. Um, so that's it with the zoom. Let's uh, fire shot here. There's kind of a weird animation when you fire, because it is bolt action. You can see the scope kind of hangs out there right in front of your face like that. Not a very good shot today. Um, let's see some vats here. So there's a reload, very fast reload. Wow. So it's a strong gun, and again, with the sniper rifle, you have the uh, you're able to use that some long range. Now I'm using a save game that has very high level everything, um, so I'm sure my range is improved by by stats that <laughs> I did not achieve. Um, so let's take out another Cazador here. I really like the animation there. They make the gun really, really, really. Uh, the gun is very realistic -y, um, very realistic -y, very realistic uh, functioning, like the animations are really good, the texture is really good. Um, this may be one of my favorite looking mods in the game. Again, I really wish that, you know, I like the look of the gun, I think it's maybe too high quality, I think it uh, overpowers the quality of anything else in the game. I like mods that kind of blend in with the game really well, and this one really doesn't seem to, but in terms of look, I love the look of the gun, I love the function of the gun, I love that, you know, it's it's a uh, lever action. Um, it's like bolt action and he actually grabs the actual lever and pulls it the right way. Uh, I really like that. Um, there are no attachments available for the gun, but it is still a very good gun. Um, so 100% recommend you check this gun out. Let me know what you guys think. Link is in the description below. Okay guys, we got one more gun to look, take a look at today. This is actually a pack, so actually it's two weapons today. This is the M2A1 Carbine as well as the LSW, which stands for Life Support Weapon. This is part of a pack on the Nexus that was recently added. It's called the Kamen Pack or Kamon Pack. I don't know if that is the name of the person who had uploaded it before or if that's the brand of the gun. Anyway, it is important to note that the guns will be listed as different names. They're not listed as LSW or M2A1. 
Uh, in order to access the weapon, you are going to head, first of all, you have to download it from the uh, description below. Directly west of Good Springs, Yankees Memorial. Um, basically, if you go to uh, Good Springs, if you haven't been to Yanks Memorial yet, or Yonks Memorial, whatever it's called, exit Doc Mitchell's house in Good Springs and walk straight. Actually, I think that's Good Springs right there. That is Doc Mitchell's house. Um, basically, when you're walking around Good Springs Cemetery and you're leaving Good Springs, you'll see the giant cross. That's the clear giveaway. So you'll appear here, face the cross, look behind you, and to the left, you will see a small little shack. And so basically, you're going to walk inside the shack. This took me a while to figure out, because not where the location was, but the guns themselves, because they are not listed as the correct name. So you're going to be inside this little shack. Head on over here. First of all, there's the paratrooper carbine. It's called paratrooper carbine, but it is the M2A1. So you're going to pick that up. There are no attachments available for that gun. I think that's supposed to simulate like a World War II type of gun. Open the footlocker, light support weapon. So LSW does show the name correctly. And it, there is three attachments available for that gun. Um, so let's take a little, uh, little step outside and take a look at these guns. So I have the ammo I need. Let's look at the paratrooper carbine. It uses 357 magazines, 30 rounds. Um, damage per second 493, which is insane. Damage is 41. So it's going to be a very high, fast firing gun. Um, and there you have it. Very, actually, really nice looking gun. I really like the look of it. Um, very high quality. And it really kind of, I mean, it, it seems to kind of fit in with the game, in my opinion. I don't know. Um, I'm going to be biased because I like World War II stuff, but. All right, let's fire this baby and see what happens. That's insane. And the reload is just ridiculous. I don't think this is a World War II gun because I don't believe they had guns like this. They had more of a uh, rifles. Okay. So that is insane. Let's take another look. You were looking at some serious damage. Um, let's see if we can find a... Um, rad scorpion around here. There's got to be something around here we could take out. Aha. Alright, I found a rad scorpion, so we are going to take this little bitch out. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I love this gun. Favorite add on so far in the game, by far. Let's take a look, though, at the light support weapon, LSW. And that is this 150 rounds. This is going to be insane damage per second. 723 damage per second. 36 damage total. This one had 41 damage total, so the damage is a little bit less, but it fires way more rounds. Let's take a listen here. Oh, looks like we're going to get that and some combat. Let's, uh... Yeah, that's just ridiculous. Let's let's unload a whole clip here and just, uh... Just see. Jesus Christ. Hey, let's uh Let's go meet up with this guy. What are you doing? What are you doing out here, buddy? Well, there was definitely a delay in sound there, but I blew that motherfucker right apart. Um, so I don't know if that's maybe a known bug or what but oh we got some more guys here so we're getting some lag now and I don't know why um, I don't know maybe if the gun is just a really high quality gun I don't know let's uh, let's while we're waiting here while we're sitting here let's take a look at the attachments so there are three attachments this is the laser scope um, so let's look first of all 
That's the gun. That's the standard scope. Um, let's add the rifle scope. And so that's the red dot sight. That's awesome. I love that. I don't know if most LMGs I don't think have red dot sight, but I could be wrong with that. Just destroy that motherfucker. Uh, some of the other attachments has expanded drums, so you have 150 rounds in a magazine to start. Let's add extended drums and just see what. Uh, 300 rounds. Okay. Let's add the last mod, sniper rifle car, uh, sniper rifle carbon part. So this is the gun. Let's add the skin. And we'll go back and make sure it's equipped. And there's the difference. Now, do the the bullets don't move up the uh, through the magazine, but that's okay. That's fucking awesome. Definitely my two favorite mods to appear in the game. Uh, one thing I want to take a look at is reload time. So real time is definitely not accurate. LMGs are known for taking a long time to reload. But who gives a shit? This is by far the best gun mods. Just blowing you guys apart. Blew you both apart. You didn't even have time to fucking think about it. Um, if for anyone who's doing a playthrough, especially if you're going to be doing one on like the hardest difficulty, I recommend the gun. Um, I guess not if you're going to do it on hardcore because ammo does weigh you down and you're going to eat through a lot of ammo very fast. Um, so it's not going to be overly functional for you, but I really like the guns. Uh, those two guns right there, best mods I've ever had in this game. I guess I can't really say, you speaking from experience, I've only had like every mod I've installed in the game you guys have seen. Let's put it that way. Um, but definitely my favorite so far. Definitely check it out. Link is in the description below. Um, so that's pretty much it for my reviews today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I feel like I'm getting a lot better already. I have some experience with the game, so that kind of helps with the other games that I'm covering. I don't really have a whole lot of experience with. Uh, this one I do, and things seem to be going really well, so we will probably be doing some quest mods pretty soon. Uh, what I really am doing is just keeping an eye on the Nexus every day, looking for new stuff added um, so that I can... Um, let's take out the other gun. Um, just basically, yeah, so that I can, um, always be adding the latest stuff. Bit of a delay there. But I'm always looking to add the latest stuff, that way there's a better chance that you guys are going to be looking for. But if you guys have anything you want me to take a look at, um, don't be afraid to ask. Just leave me a, leave me a note in the, yeah, leave, leave me a comment and I'll be happy to at least consider taking a look at it. Um, other than that. I'm not going to waste any more of your time. I hope you guys have a good day. Peace out.